Welcome to the Sunday Update. I'm Nicole Gunn. Victoria has recorded another spike in COVID case numbers with 92 detected from more than 52,000 tests. All but 31 have been linked to existing infections. Australia's vaccination rates are on the improve. 11.7 million Australians have had at least one dose. But Deputy Chief Medical Officer Professor Michael Kidd says there are no plans to offer booster shots this year. We're planning to continue rolling out the vaccine to the entire population but we have made provision in our forward uh, or advanced purchases of vaccines to have booster doses available for the population should they be required uh, next year. The final UK civilian evacuation flight has left Afghanistan ahead of the Tuesday deadline to leave. It's time to close this phase of the operation now but we haven't forgotten the people who still need to leave. We'll continue to do everything we can to help them nor have we forgotten the brave decent people of Afghanistan. They deserve to live in peace and security. That's British Ambassador Sir Laurie Bristow. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden has warned of another possible terror attack at Kabul airport within the next 24 to 48 hours. Thousands have been evacuated in the US state of Louisiana with a powerful hurricane bearing down on New Orleans. Ida is expected to arrive as a Category 4 storm almost 16 years to the day after the devastating Hurricane Katrina. To sport, a Melbourne Storm's 19-game win streak has come to an end, losing to Parramatta 22-10. to And the Giants' Toby Green could be in trouble after making contact with an umpire in the elimination final win over the Swans. GWS getting up by just one point. And Aussie Daniel Ricciardo will start from fourth on the grid at the Belgian Grand Prix after a dramatic day in qualifying. McLaren's teammate Lando Norris aquaplaned and crashed. He was taken to hospital for assessment. In entertainment news, Orlando Bloom has revealed he narrowly escaped death in a 1998 accident. The actor took to Instagram to share photos of himself in a back brace, revealing he suffered severe spinal damage after falling from three stories high. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.